Okay, so we have completed our perm, we've done a curl development test, and we've checked that we have the right S-shaped bend in the hair. So now we're going to bring our client over to the basin and we're gonna start our neutralizing process. So perm lotion breaks down the um, permanent bonds, the disulfide bonds in your hair, and neutralizing then refixes them into those new broken down shapes. So the neutralizing part is just in, as important as the perm winding section. So what we do is we get the client comfortable in your basin, and then you're with warm water, check the temperature on your wrist, you're going to rinse all of the rollers with your water, okay? So obviously cup your hands around the face to make sure you don't splash their face. Now, when you do bring your client over at this point and you take off the plastic cap, there will be a really strong smell of ammonia. So just perhaps pre-warn your client about that smell. And also now it's really important that that water is distributed over all of those rollers. At this point, the hair is gonna feel slightly slimy and that sliminess will start to come off the hair as you um, rinse that more and more. So that sort of gives you an indication of how long you need to rinse for, but generally it's five minutes. If the hair is longer, then obviously you would add longer time on that as well. So we're just working our way around, making sure that we wash all of those rollers to get that perm lotion off. So we're, we're getting the perm lotion off so it doesn't carry on breaking down any more bonds in the hair and then we're going to fix those into, into place. So after five minutes, turn off your tap, remove your wet cotton wool. Okay, keep that away from you, so put it into your bin. And then you're going to block dry the rollers. So start off with a towel, and you're going to put this over the hair. So the client stays back at this stage. And what you're gonna do is, you are blotting, so to start with, I just generally push over the, the rollers to get the worst of the moisture out. And then you're gonna start going over each roller, squeezing out that excess moisture. So every roller you need to make sure is really, really dry. Now the reason for this is if you don't dry that hair sufficiently, I'm not talking bone dry, I'm just talking sort of hand dry, sort of dampness. If you don't get all that moisture out of the hair, then that will dilute your neutralizer down, so it won't be as effective. So you may need to change your towel and use another towel, and then you'll move on to using paper towels. So this gives you a better indication, you can sort of see that I still have quite a lot of moisture there. And you need to make sure you get every single roller. And one of the biggest dangers here is because the client's head is in the nape, you might miss drying these ones, ones in the nape of the neck effectively. So make sure you don't miss any of those rollers. Change your paper towels and get new ones so that you can carry on. Now these stacking sticks stay in the hair throughout because they're there to protect your hair from breakage from the, the bands. So they stay in at this point, okay? So carry on all over until your hair is sufficiently dry. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cotton wool, so a new piece of cotton wool now, we're gonna put that around the hairline, all the way around, so that's a form of protection for our client. You may want to reapply more barrier cream if they have a sensitive scalp. Okay, and once you've gone all the way around. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to apply your neutralizer. Now, I always explain to my client at this point what I'm doing, so commentate with them what is going on. The neutralizer is gonna appear very, very cold to your client. So that's why it's good to pre-warn them. Now you may have two different types of neutralizer. You may have one that comes straight out of the bottle, which you apply directly over each roller, working methodically to make sure you don't miss any. Or you may have a neutralizer that you pour into the bowl and then you foam up with your sponge. So you foam that up, okay? And then what you do is using your sponge, you apply that all over the hair, so you get that nice foam effect, and it's a good way of seeing which ones have been neutralized and which ones haven't, whereas with the bottle, sometimes it is hard to see. Although if you have dried the hair enough, it obviously makes them look wet again. So you're gonna apply that all over the hair, making sure again, you don't miss those ones in the night. So it may mean that you just need to bring your client's head up slightly to make sure you don't miss them. So really push that in all over, Get plenty of neutralizer on. So at this point now, this neutralizer 
is going into those disulfide bonds that have been broken down and it's now fixing them into this newly wound curly shape. So it's making them into a new permanent fixed bond all over. Now the neutralizer, again, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Generally, it's a five minute development time. So we would leave this on the hair for five minutes for it to develop. So during that five minutes, you would tidy up your workstation. So you'd get rid of your um, cotton wool and your towels, etc., and put those into the bins. It's a good time to get your conditioner out ready for the end of your service and anything else you need. You wouldn't leave the client at this point, okay? Because if the neutralizer was to drip into their eyes, you'd need to be there to get it for them. Also, they might have a reaction and it's only five minutes. So you don't wanna disappear off and get caught up in doing something else. After five minutes, we're going to start removing the rods carefully from the hair. So it's often good to start at the back of the hair here and carefully remove them. So you're sort of just unwinding them back on themselves and taking your paper separate at the same time. Okay, so we're just gonna start to remove all of those rods. Now, okay, so I've now finished removing all of my rods carefully. The hair is in a very delicate state right now, so you need to treat it with absolute care, so no pulling on the hair. So now I'm going to reapply some more neutralizer into the hair. So this hair is quite long, so I'm just sort of going to scrunch that neutralizer into the hair. Again, treating this hair very, very carefully. We've broken those bonds down and we're in the process of refixing those bonds into their new shape. So I'm just going to work the rest of my neutralizer into that hair and I'm now going to leave this for another five minutes. So during this five minutes now, the rods that I took from my client's hair, I'm now going to wash those. I'm going to wash up my bowl and brush and I'm going to stay beside my client in case she needs me. So I'd be busy cleaning all these things up, ready to be put away. After five, my five minutes now, I'm on the final stage. So I will remove my cotton wool and now I'm going to give the hair a rinse. Again, it's very delicate still the hair. We haven't closed those bonds down. So treat the hair very delicately. Don't be raking your fingers through it or pulling on it. Also, the scalp at this point could also be quite sensitive. So just be aware of your water temperature and make sure it's comfortable for the client. So now you're gonna give the hair a rinse for approximately five minutes, just to make sure that you've removed all of that neutralizer from the hair. After five minutes, we're going to now close down that cuticle and return the hair to its natural pH by using an antioxidant conditioner, so an acid pH conditioner. And like I said before, the hair is very delicate, so we're gonna treat it very carefully. So use your effleurage to apply that shampoo and then scrunch that shampoo up into the hair. At this point, if you are going to comb through the hair, make sure it's a very wide tooth comb and obviously start right at the points and work your way up. So at this point, I'm just scrunching that conditioner into the hair and using my effleurage to apply that, okay? Once you have applied your conditioner, you will rinse your conditioner off and then you will towel dry and take your client back over to the workstation ready for their perm to be styled before they go home. So that's how to complete a neutralizing service. The bonds are now completely fixed into their new shape and our client has now got a lovely curly look.